yeah good morning everyone so everyone know regarding that test pattern regarding accenture i am not uh, going into that okay but today session what we are focusing okay we'll at least discuss uh, two or three sets of critical thinking and problem solving critical thinking and problem solving which is second section i am writing in short here critical thinking and problem solving okay which is question number 18 into question number 35 18 questions and next one abstract reasoning question number 36 to question number 50 15 questions we have all together 33 questions from this area and okay in fact okay i'll just focus on pseudo codes as well little bit related to pseudo code okay so this is around 18 questions from this area right so guys see one important point i need to update you people see accents and drive already happened in certain colleges and it's uh, still going on and next month also we have a lot of on campus drives parallel off campus for past dots also drive is happening so one thing we hear that okay you prepare for section wise cut off you prepare for section wise cut off we have six sections prepare for section wise cut off but sometimes okay for a few colleges they are allowing okay if suppose performance is not good they are allowing overall cut off also let us say if you perform well in this ct ar verbal and pseudo code little bit and you are not done very well in networking and uh, common applications also still you are able to clear the round 1 still you have a chance to clear round 1 okay overall score let us say out of 90 you target for 60 60 plus score out of 90 you target for this overall score section wise you focus first of all okay if uh, that is not happening at least overall score you practice for more than 60 plus out of 90 you target for that for the definite contribution is from ct and ps where around 33 questions and 18 questions here 50 plus questions from pseudo codes and critical thinking abstract is 50 questions verbal bit okay then fine you are in a safe side ms office and common applications all those materials also i'll share in the group go through it so that you people can learn a lot right and now let's uh, go ahead with the syllabus first okay i'll just okay give the outline regarding syllabus many people have a clarity just give me okay some glimpse regarding syllabus see critical thinking and problem solving the main main topic in this is seating arrangements are puzzles seating arrangements are puzzles around 7 to 8 questions we will get so you focus more on seating arrangements and puzzles here 7 to 8 questions on this area the second area you need to worry much is syllogism concept around 3 questions around 3 questions flow chart three questions guarantee right so so far we have around 13 to 14 questions from the ct and ps the other area you need to focus is statements arguments and conclusions related or assumptions also statements and arguments more on statements and arguments they are giving or statements and assumptions very few on statements and conclusions related okay but still from this area you can expect around two questions and the rest to take care of data sufficiency only five topics of okay, these five areas you need to focus regarding critical thinking and problem solving then you are done with that 18 questions from this area 18 questions okay all can be covered if you are aware of this five areas right that is critical thinking and problem solving similarly in abstract reasoning if we focus on abstract reasoning so in abstract reasoning the area you need to very much focus is coding and decoding coding and decoding series all these are interlinked coding and decoding series analogy hard one out this all are bit linked related stuff so this topics you need to focus coding and decoding series analogy hard one out the other area you need to focus is image based questions 
paper folding, paper cutting, mirror image, water image. What is the next diagram? Right, so image based questions come a geo pseudo challenge. Sudoku game you people play. Okay, this geo pseudo challenge they are asking only in CoCubes test platform. We will focus on test platforms at the end. There are three different platforms which they are using for uh, Accenture to conduct the exam. Okay, so one of the platform is called CoCubes. In CoCubes platform only you will get geo pseudo challenge. Otherwise, remaining all they will give image based questions only. So, coding and decoding, series, analogy, R1 out, image based questions. So, max you can done with that abstract reasoning related stuff. Right. So, this, so whenever time permits, you go through these topics, bit familiarized in this. So, I don't have any idea in these topics. Fine. If that is the case, I'll share you one PDF in the group where this topic related video is there from basics you can learn and be thorough with that. This areas you need to know how to solve everything. So data assumptions, all these related topics, entire topics, PDF will be shared there. You can click on the video and learn those basics. If they give new question also, you should be very much okay in a situation to attempt it. Okay, as these two sections together is having 30 plus questions. So main, right. And this is what series related question you can find. One more. I'll just mute all. Okay. Yeah. Ujita, you can mute yourself. That might be an option. Yeah, fine. So it's done. Okay. Series related question. Right. So if you focus on the series related question, we have to find the missing term. 7, 4, 5, 9, some missing number. This is related to abstract reasoning. We are discussing two sections together. Two sections together we are discussing. So let's see about this question. So what is that missing term? What is the missing term here? Yeah. Options are also given here, right? You just check it out. So you can text your answers in chat box if required, no problem. I believe screen is zoomed and it's sufficient for you people. I'll, I'll still I'll zoom the screen. So we need to find that missing term. So guys, what's your answer? Options are 32, 16, 14, and 20. Yes. somebody said 20 okay what's your logic if you are having access to that chart okay you can just text what's your logic there good okay people are giving the reply and trying to solve the question good to see this comes under abstract reasoning yes here 7 to 4 decreasing then series is keep increasing some people will take difference between numbers and try to handle your logic should sa satisfy this next terms as well it's not about stopping here we have to keep extend that yeah multiply by one plus one multiply by two minus one something like that people are responding yeah good so monica said here seven into half 7 divided by 2, which is 3.5, plus half, 4, sir. Here, multiply by 1, plus 1, sir. Right, okay, then multiply by, this is half, this is 1, then multiply by 2, 
plus 2 means you don't get 9, right? Multiply by half plus half. Okay, good. Then multiply by 1 plus 1 will give 5. Next, multiply by 2 minus 6 required. Or else if you go for half of that, 2.5. Then adding 6.5 is required. It's not satisfying the logic, right? So, okay, what we can do? Half, double, four times. Yeah, 20. People are giving answers. 20, good. What is your logic is matter here? Monica given certain logic like half plus half. Then continue Monica. Yes. So see here yeah, initially half plus half. Fine. But then yeah, into one plus one. Good Monica. Next. Good. So seven into half plus half into multiply by one plus one. Perfect. Then. Main logic lies here. So, yeah, into 1.5, perfect. That's what. So, many will think about here into 2 plus 2, but here it is 1.5 plus 1.5. Here, multiply by 2 plus 2. Then, multiply with 2.5 plus 2.5. You just check it out. All this will satisfy. And multiply with 3 plus 3. Sir, uh, okay, how we are able to identify this 1.5, 2.5? If you go through the series video, okay, the, from basic to next, I given one logic in series video. In question, if any number is ending with 0.5 or 0.75 or 0.25, if any number is ending with 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.25 like that, then think about multiply with 1.5, 2.5 like that. If you just go through that series related logics initially we given, first 10 minutes regarding outline regarding series topic fast increasing multiplication slow increasing slow decreasing take difference between numbers fast decreasing means division increasing decreasing means mixed series we given certain logics there and we given clearly one point if any number in the given question ending with 0.5 or 0.25 or 0.75 then think about multiplying with 1.5 2.5 3.5 related see 1.5 2.5 half this is typical typical question and excellent, some people are able to crack. Very good. 20 is the correct answer. Now, let's see about the second question. Data sufficiency. Data sufficiency. Critical thinking and problem solving related. Data sufficiency. I already given what topic comes under which section. Right? Data sufficiency. Now, question here is, who will come in the middle position? When arranging P, Q, T, V, and M in ascending order. Middle position, ascending order, or descending order, middle position will not disturb any far. In fact, so that's not a worry. But okay, they're given as per the height, if you put in ascending order, which person will come in the middle position? To answer that question, is we always need to try statement one alone, statement two alone. Alone not possible, then only go for together. Guys, I repeat data sufficiency basic is that. First, we have to try alone, statement 1 alone, statement 2 alone. If that is not possible, then only go for 2 together. First, if you go for 1 alone, V is taller than Q, but shorter than M. I am not able to identify because all 5 people are not arranged. 1 alone, not possible. Then try 2 alone. What is 2 alone? T is taller than Q and M. Q and M internally what height we don't know whether Q is more than M or M is more than Q using st statement 2 alone. T is shorter than P. T is shorter than P. T is taller than Q and M. But here also we have an issue. We are not able to find who is the middle. Okay. 2 alone not possible. 1 alone not possible. Now we have to go for 2 together. Alone we have to try. If not possible go for 2 together. Alone not possible. One alone not possible. Two alone not possible. Now if you go for two together, put together, we got the idea. Okay. P is T is taller than Q and M. This is what the arrangement Q and M. M is okay. T is taller than Q and M. Already we know M V Q from the statement one. T is taller than Q and M. And P is also T is shorter than P. 
Now I'm able to identify the middle candidate is nothing but M. So answer is put together. Both statements together were able to answer. There is an option. Yes, both statements are sufficient. So guys, both statements put together is sufficient. Data sufficiency. Which data is required to answer that question? Is one alone sufficient? Two alone sufficient? If one alone sufficient also, don't leave the question. Try two alone as well. One alone, don't leave the question. Two alone, two alone, go try jail. Two alone, try jail. Because there is an option called each statement to okay, alone is sufficient to answer. And option we have to definitely try alone. Rundu alone try jialandi. Don't go for together until unless alone is not possible. Both alone not possible. Now looking to the third question. This is what I'm worrying about. Seating arrangement stuff. Okay, they're asking more and more related whether it is any platform, whether it is metal platform or co cubes or V box. Remind me at the end of the session regarding the platforms. I'll take around five to ten minutes to brief regarding what type of platforms, how you can see that and all. Okay, around this five to ten minutes, that's sufficient. Okay. Now see about this eight individuals, they need to board a train. Now, everyone, this is what the entire arrangement you arrange this. Then they'll ask a couple of questions related to that. I given only one here, but generally they'll ask a lot of other questions. First, complete the entire arrangement, please. Who will come first? Who will come last? So among this, okay, eight people, you need to arrange them for the boarding. One person boards at each stop. Right, so first stop, who is boarding like that? You just try to plan here. Everyone try to solve. Okay, when question is displayed, please take pen and paper. Okay, try to solve that. This notes and everything will be shared. Don't worry about noting down the question. I'm very happy to share all this document in your group. There is no worry. But primary concern is when question is displayed, can I able to solve the question or not? Question mano solve the Seating arrangements, three to four minutes you can take because there are asking three to four questions for one arrangement. Yeah, let's try. This is how they'll ask in CoCube's platform. They'll give one paragraph, they'll ask three to four questions related to that. Four people board the train before F. Means F is fifth person, right? Read the entire one. Go for the direct information. F will be here. F will be the fifth person. There are only two stops between R and F. So... Possibility R is here, R is here also. I am not fixing. Okay, R can be the last person or R can be the second person. Because there is the information, there are only two stops between R and F. It, R can be second person boarding or R can be the last person boarding. That's why you just want to go okay, related to R information. G boards the train one stop before F. Okay, I want R right. T boards the train just after L. But before R, just after L and before R. Okay, so there are I'm, okay, there are two possibilities. Now one I'll put R here, one here. We'll try all these cases. So yeah, fine. Now if you observe this last one that gives a clarity, T boards after L and before R, then R here is not possible. T is boarding just after L and before R means T L R R before two people should come. R at second place is not correct. R at second place is not correct. You just understand, right? So that's why R eliminated. And okay, initially we have a doubt. R is at second place or last place. R related information is there in sixth statement. That is what important. Related statements you need to move. Sir, second statement, then I go for third statement. But first connect the, the things. So you fix it regarding R and F. So now close it. So R is at the eighth place and we got the idea with respect to sixth statement okay l is just before r before r and l is just after t this is what t l r and they said there are five stops between s and t okay uh, t boards just after l t is before r sorry t is after l and before r t boards after L and before 
R. There are five stops between S and T. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. S will be the first candidate. Five stops between yeah, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are 5 stops between S and T. Now, 2, 3, 4 only pending. G boards the train one stop before F. N boards before G. Okay, this is also completed. Guys, now we have 3 and 5th statements available. G one stop before. Two stops between is different. One stop before means this is what G is here. N boards the train before G. Is it just before or immediately before? That's one area we need to focus because just means immediately like that it will come. So it can be N here or N here. There is a dilemma why I'm putting here is they said before, not immediately before. That's what one area I'm worrying about. So it can be what is the left over candidate? K. K or N or it can be N or K it seems. Okay. In the flow, as per the flow, N is maximum suitable in this place and K is suitable in this place. But there is still dilemma because they said before, not just before. Immediately before is not mentioned. That's what one worry. Let me see the chart. Anybody is responding. Yeah, fine. Very good. They said K, S, N, G, F, L, T, R. Five stops between S and T, right? Meenakshi, five between. As per your info, NG, FLT, only four people between S and T, right? Yeah, Bhavyashri, SKN, G, FLT, R. That's what maximum suitable thing among all. Right, so this KNN is fixed, but still depends on question. If they said uh, cannot be determined, can't say like that, then we have to worry about this. They didn't use the word just before, no? Now, who boards just before L? This is the only question I kept, but there are a lot of questions they'll ask you. Okay, regarding the same data. Who boards just before? This is what the word I'm worrying about. Here, there is a word before. Here, there is a word just before. Right? So, answer is nothing but F. Right. Now, let's see about syllogism concept. Critical thinking and problem solving. Seating arrangement, critical thinking and problem solving. Data sufficiency, critical thinking and problem solving, second section. Now, what is the procedure to solve syllogism concepts? With respect to given statement, draw the diagram. For the given statement, draw possible diagrams. Possible diagrams. And then, with respect to diagram, decide the conclusions. Right. Okay. Draw the diagram satisfying the statements. And from diagrams, which conclusions? Okay. Then we can decide. And if any issue regarding the visibility of screen and all, let me know. I'll just zoom it. You can put that in the chat box. Right. If anyone, okay, I, I believe that there is some certain classrooms where projector is used or maybe some TV is, is used, so you can just drop the message. I'll act accordingly. I can just zoom it if there is an issue. I'm comfortable right now. Okay, I need to do some adjustments if there is an issue. Here, all rats are cows. All rats are cows. No cow is white. Yeah, there is one more diagram. All rats are cows. Same circle we can take. No cow is white. These are the two possible diagrams with respect to the given statements. Right. Now, first to conclusion, no white is that. Yeah, no white is that. Correct here. No white is that. Correct here. Two diagrams. Second conclusion, no rat is white. Correct here. No rat is white. Correct here. Third conclusion, white and rat not connected. Wrong. White and rat not connected, wrong. Fourth conclusion, all cows are rats, correct here. Here, this part of cow is not available in rat. Fourth one, wrong here. See, conclusion, which is true in all diagrams. The one which is true in all diagrams is only one and two here. Conclusion means which is true in all diagrams. 
So here only one and two follows option C. It's not one and three. In fact, one and three is not there in the options. It's one and two. For the given statement, draw the diagram and decide with respect to that. Excellent. Many people are responding. Good to see. Now let's go for the next question. Again, related to data sufficiency, this is how they'll ask in metal platform. In metal platform, no, they'll give the options before itself. A option, B option for data sufficiency, A, B, C, D. Metal platform, V box, and Co cubes. There are three different platforms metal, V box, Co cubes. They'll conduct exam in any of these three platforms. Sir, so how can I know which platform they're connecting the exam? During mock test, you will understand. If uh, drive date two days before, they'll give mock test for every student to understand how the platform works, how to run the code, whether you are able to use the platform properly or not, and your system is okay to uh, take the test or not. Okay, on that day, you can understand what platform it is. But this is how in Metal platform, they'll give op for data exceptions or options like this before. And here, there is a question. Does the integer y has have at least two different prime factors? Yes or no? To set that, is this correct with statement one alone sufficient, statement two alone sufficient, or statement together required? Two prime, two different prime factors at least means greater than or equal to two prime factors required. means this should be divided by two prime numbers, two different prime numbers. y by 10 is equal to integer, right? So let us say that is equal to 1 also, or k, okay? Then y equal to 10 into k. 10 can be written as 2 into 5. Yes, there are two prime factors. y is having two prime factors. So statement 1 alone, I can say yes. Statement 2 alone, y divided by 6 equal to some constant x or some constant c. Let us say constant c. Then y equal to 6 into c. 6 can be written as 2 into 3. Here yeah, y is divisible by two prime numbers, two different prime numbers. Two alone. One alone. Two alone. Right. So here you go through the options. Together not sufficient. No. Alone itself sufficient. Each statement alone. Guys, see this is what the option. In metal platform, this is how the options are. Each statement alone is sufficient to answer the question. Each statement alone is sufficient to answer the question. Right. So you, you given one data section question already. Yeah, that's this is actually metal one. I'm giving you the platform as well. Right. This is how they'll ask in co cubes seating arrangements. This is how they'll ask in co cubes or V box. In both, they'll ask in this fashion only. They'll give one uh, data. They'll ask three to four questions related to that. This is how they'll ask in V-Box. Options will be like this. One alone is sufficient, while two alone is not sufficient. Likewise, this is how they'll ask in V-Box. In fact, V-Box or Co-Cubes, both will be in similar fashion. This is actually a question from V-Box platform. We've taken different platforms, different topics altogether so that you will understand. Okay. And I'll definitely show you certain screenshots, how the platform looks like. Don't worry about that area, I'll show you. Right, now let's see about this question. This is how they'll ask in metal. In metal platform problem, listen, we have eight seating arrangements question, all eight different questions they'll ask. See, I said for co-cubes or V-box, They'll give a paragraph. If you are done with the arrangement, you will get three to four questions related to that paragraph. But problem with the metal platform is eight questions means eight different questions they'll give. Means, okay, this for this data, if you arrange only one answer, you will get only one question related to that. Seating arrangements, I mean to say, seating arrangements in metal platform will be like that. I'll share you certain videos at the end of the session. Okay. Previous co cubes related paper separately, metal platform related video separately, V box related video separately. Then maybe you'll get better clarity as well. What type of platform, what type of questions and all. And you will definitely understand one day or two days before what platform you're going to get in main exam. Regarding mock test, you will get the idea. 
right now here but syllabus is same everywhere guys listen syllabus seating arrangement same the deceptions is same it's there syllabus is pretty much common for all sections in all platforms right now let's see about this question the professor takes five students to a lecture and they all sit together in a row jan sits at one of the end of the row is it right end or left end we have to see sam sit three places to the right of max max first place second place third place three places to the right of max means third place only okay the professor sits to sam's immediate left total six people are there then guys there are six people because five students and professor also professor sits immediate left of sam total six slots required there are same number of students between the professor and kelly as there are between mary and john mary and john how many people are there okay the same people gap between professor and kelly right okay then how many different seating combinations are possible in a row see total six people five students and professor now the thing they given here there are same number of students between professor and kelly okay as between maria and john right so now see is that only two arrangements are more than two or only one possible let us say let us say between mary and john only one person between professor and uh, kelly one person yeah there is only one person between right so same number of students between zero people between professor and kelly zero people between mary and john total five people are in together professor takes five students to a lecture then total six people required who is that sixth person john max professor sam kelly i think all together it, it seems like five but as per the statement a professor takes five students to a lecture and they all sit together one more person name is not there okay considering that candidate if that is the case then here this slot that candidate may take or this slot that candidate may take left end or right end see i i think you people can agree there are six people are there or not you just tell me is that six people or five people arrangement read that first line a professor takes five students to lecture that that is required see it's not about we are getting option a option b there is option more than three also whether you agree there are six people or not maria okay this max right here max this is maria fine yes maria between maria and john right okay i taken max fine fine agreed 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 then then one moment one moment maria is the sixth person correct correct max is this okay i will put the suffix x maria is the sixth person but there are total six people now maria and john how many people between them and the same number of people between professor and kelly right so there is a chance okay maria and john are here kelly and professor here means no people between maria and john and kelly and uh, professor that's one arrangement the other arrangement is john maria no people between john and maria kelly and uh, professor yes yeah, see this is also they didn't give an order no maria and john number of people maria can be left or john can be left this is two arrangements so far two arrangements so far the other arrangements possible this is the only fixed data okay now number of people between professor and kelly yeah so kelly can be here john and mary can be here see this is third arrangement and maria max john professor sam and kelly see this is what number of people between john and mary is one between professor and kelly is one so are you agreeing with the answer but problem 
John sit at one of the end of the row. Okay, satisfying that first statement, this will be eliminated. John sit at one end of the row. This will be eliminated. So this is fine. John will sit at one end of the row. And still, still there is chances. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, I'll just let you find this is all correct only. I'm just letting you know full clarity. Like first we have three people, three positions fixed. Sam, okay. And Max, with respect to Max, Sam is third place. I believe everybody got this point and professor is immediately left off that. This is also fine. Right. And John, okay, there are two more slots. There are two more slots. It can be like this. Or it can be like this. Or it can be like this. There are two slots still. Total six people. Two slots can be left to this. Or two, one slot here, one slot here. These two slots. I think this is what the basic thing. Right. And John will be at one of the end. Here, right end is blocked. John should be at the left end. John should be at the left end. Here left end is blocked. John can be here. Here left end, right end, both are possible. Left end and right end, max, mx. Here left and right end, both are possible. So one I am taking left end. One I am taking right end. So far, this is what John is at one of the end of the row. Professor is immediately left of Sam. Sam is three places to the right of X means third right only. Don't worry about this statement. This is third right. Three places to the right is nothing but third right only. Now, number of people between Maria and John must be equal to number of people between Max and okay, uh, Professor and Kaylee. Now, see here. Maria, here Kaylee. This is one arrangement. But in the same arrangement, in the same above arrangement, here in the one, see, no people between John and Mary, here no people between a professor and Kaylee. Now see, Maria here, two people between John and Maria, Kaylee here, two people between professor and Kaylee. Guys, many people may not think about the second arrangement. Two people between professor and Kaylee. Two people between John and Maria. Two arrangements so far. Right. And the other arrangement, yeah, no people between Kelly and uh, Professor. No people between John and Maria. This is one arrangement. Right. And if I put Kelly here, no, there, there is no other arrangement. Paul. Three so far. One, two, three so far. Satisfying all the conditions, whatever we have fixed. Right. And one more arrangement here. I can put Kaylee. One people between Professor and Kaylee. I can put Maria here. One people between. So more than three is my answer. Guys, see that? More than three is my answer. So you check it out. Is that okay or not for you? Satisfying all arrangement. You people can see the screen. More than three. Some people said two. But it's more than three, dear. Perfect. Agreed. Right. So, excellent. Problem with metal platform is this. We'll get only one question with this entire data. Sir, we arrange six people. They're asking three to four questions. Nothing. No story in metal. Metal platform. That's what one issue. Now, see about flowchart. This type of flowchart, they ask in only metal platform. Boxes, they'll ask in CoCubes platform. In metal, they'll give like this. Okay, I, I know the screen is not visible for all people. I'll just zoom it. Don't worry. Okay. So what is here? I'll just zoom it for this question. Yeah. I think now it's a bit okay. You are starting. Initially, mass is zero. English is zero. Hindi is zero. Chemistry is zero. Physics is zero. All the subjects are zero, zero, zero. Initial marks are zero. Okay. Now, you have to give inputs for mass, English, Hindi, okay, chemistry and physics. These subjects, input you want to give. You have to give the input. So, what is the input given, sir? Here they are given 57, 88, 69, 66 and 79. 
these are the scores of mass this that order only same order okay now we have to calculate the percentage how to calculate the percentage is sum of all those divided by 500 into 100 so sum of all the subjects is 57 plus 88 plus 69 plus 66 plus 79 divided by 500 into 100 is what percentage means simply dividing by 5 don't worry about the exact calculation it's more than 60 percent or not that's what generally we need to understand okay if you want to do perfect calculation no problem 80 and 50 130 7 plus 8 15 145 this is 145 here 60 and 60 120 265 and 15 280 280 and 79 is 359 divided by 5 which is 71.8 percent 71.8 percent so 70 percent and above that right so 70 above right so now it's greater than 70 now see is percentage greater than 80 if it is yes then grade a no then is it percentage greater than 60 yes but grade b your answer should be grade b this guy is more than 60 and less than 80 so you are you have to print grade b answer is grade b here see this is how they ask in metal four flowchart questions four questions from three to four questions from flowchart but every question they will give different different diagram like this different diagram like this and we have to answer those so i want more questions we'll share you people don't worry i just want to give the glimpsey outline regarding what you need to focus right so this is how they'll ask in metal in v box they'll give only three questions decision box means rhombus shape rectangle shape parallelogram shape like that they'll ask in v box fine now let's see about the next question yeah this is question related to metal only metal platform Mira is ranked 25th from the top and 25th from the bottom. Find the rank of Chris from the bottom if he is 17 from the top. See, this summation, this summation both must be equal as they are from the same class. 25 plus 25 is 50. So, 17 plus 33 is 50. So, both summation must be equal. They are from the same class. So, summation of those must be equal so 25 plus 25 50 here 17 plus 33 50 but if they ask number of students in the class if the question is regarding number of students in the class then you have to say 25 plus 25 minus 1 49 people in the class only not 50 49 why you are doing minus 1 sir you calculated mira from the top you calculated mira from the bottom mira calculated twice you are counting from the top, you are counting from the bottom as well. We have to do minus 1 to compensate that. You have to know the reason why minus 1, why not minus 2. Right? 3, excellent. Now see this syllogism question, back to syllogism. Guys, let's see how many of you can answer this question. Statements are ready, conclusion is ready. All bags are made of plastic. No book is made of plastic. All bags are made of plastic. Bags all are plastic related. As per this question, no book is bags. No book is made of plastic. Right. So no bag is book perfectly. Some things that are plastic are bags. Yes, some part of plastic are bags. So some things, this is plastic area, which is there in this, this dot is comes under plastic. It comes under bags as well. So second one also correct. Both one and two follows. Something that are plastic are bags as well. Both one and two follows. Excellent. 
<laughs> now see about again statements and conclusions here. All birds are cats. Some dogs are birds. Related conclusion. All birds are cats. Some dogs are birds. Definitely first conclusion is correct. Some dogs are birds. All birds are cats. So some dogs are cats is definitely true. First one is definitely true. There is no bird that is not a cat. Yes. Second also, because see, all birds are cats. As per the given statement, there is no bird that is not a cat. Yes, that's directly related to given one. No. All birds are cats. Then definitely, there is no bird that is not a cat. See, that's directly. You can see the diagram also. There is no bird that is not a cat. All birds are cats. There is no bird that's not a cat. It's not only one, Jay Shri. It's both follows for this question. It's both follows. Yes, perfect. Option C is correct. Now let's see about this seating arrangement related question. This is how they'll ask in metal platform. In metal, they'll ask in this way. Five dogs having been have been made to sit in a row. Fine. The labrador is not beside the spids. The doberman is two places, two places to the left. Two places on the left side means second left only. And Beagle is sitting two places away from the left end of the row. So left end, right end. So one, two, three. Away is different. Two places on the left side is different. Away means there is a gap. Two places. So Beagle should be here. Two places away means two gap is required. Since two places on the left side means second left only. Two places away. You read that sentence clearly. This guy fixes their place. B is here. Right. And Labrador is not beside the spids. So those, those two cannot sit together. And where I can put this D and L. Okay. Uh, D and L only possibility is here. Right. D here. L here. Now. Which dog is? Labrador is not beside the spits. Perfect. Which dog is sit at end of the row? So, spits will come here. Right end. This is Labrador LB. Okay. Now, L has LH. So, right end is option A. No, it's not either or actually. You can fix it right end. They given this statement. No, Labrador is not beside the spits. So you got the clarity. First of all, DBL is fixed, and this is Labrador. Spits is not in this, so spits should be in this left end. Then we fix the right end should be Elhas. Right. So. Right end is option A only. There is not option B or C or you know option A. So LBD, one moment, sorry. Is it LBD? Yeah, LBD also fine. That's also cool. Okay, fine, good. There is other issue of front rising. LBD. No, how we can go for LBD? D is two places left side of LR. Okay, 
this is l has a l h one moment one moment this is one moment one moment i noted it wrong l has a l h l has a fine fine that l with l only we have two names so that's what confusion when it is l h then it can be l b here yes or yes as you mentioned there are two things possible two things possible as per the option so it can be yes here it can be l b labrador is not beside this pitch then it can be yes bridge or labrador only yeah you as your friend mentioned it can be brc i taken this is l has okay i taken as lb here it's see there are among b and c two things are possible it should be like okay l has is not beside this pitch like that yeah it's either or it's either or agreed it's either or perfect now let's see about this next arrangement arrangements are very important you need to pretty much focus on that area as well seven students are sitting in a row facing north a is second to the left of e a is second left of e because of the word who this is related to e only e is second to the left of f and this is related to f f is third to the right of c who means that's related to immediate candidate a is second to the left of e e is second to the left of f f is third to the right of c c first right second right third right we have total five people we need still seven students no so they given one more statement d is third to the right of b d is third to the right of b if i put b somewhere third right not possible only possibility b here first right second right third right is d d is third to the right of b and you can see all seven people arrangement done then this is g position g is immediate left of d only option b is correct g is immediate left of d d is immediate left of d vinisha good yes option b is perfect now let's go for 14 seating arrangement this is how they are asking metal if one question related to one entire data now check this see jab as they are asking only one question in general they are asking five people or six people arrangement only as they are asking only one question related to that thing so now here five different color breeds i clearly mentioned no need to note down the question when question is displayed try to work on the question can i solve this within a minute or not 40 seconds 50 seconds lo question solve cheyagalutunna na the 60 seconds 70 seconds enta time pattundi that you need to check right the read red bead is immediate right of blue blue immediate right is red the green is immediate left of pink and is at one of the end of so green is left of pink and one of the enemies definitely green is at the left end pink here three slots are there so among those three slots these two will occupy two slots and they clearly mention blue is not adjacent to yellow so blue is not adjacent to yellow means this should be here blue should be here red here yellow will be here which is to the right of pink right of pink there are a lot of things they have to ask immediate right actually which bead is to the immediate right of pink immediate right of pink means blue they need to ask actually immediate right or else right means red will come red red also right of pink only yellow also right of pink only the question should be a bit precise they have to ask immediate right so 
why can't LO? So some people will argue, sir, GP, you put LO here, then B and R. They said here, blue is not adjacent to LO, right? So we are not going with this. GNP left two positions blocked. Right. Now let's see about next question. Seating arrangement, sir. Most seating arrangements is one set. We are getting around eight questions. In one set, there we are getting around eight questions. In metal, all eight questions are different. That is why this many seating arrangement related stuff we are getting. More questions we are focusing right now on critical thinking and problem solving. That's why you can see syllogism questions we are discussing in between seating arrangements. This is the area, gray area where people will feel a bit difficulty and taking time. That's why we are focusing first on those cases. Now, six people, you need to arrange in a circle. This is not row arrangement, circle. Six people, you need to arrange in a circle. So, create a circle with six positions. Right. Dom is sitting between Frank and Bo. So, left or right, we don't have doubt, right? So, I'm going this dot. I'm not using this because between means it can be FB or it can be BDF. Two possibilities are there. Right. Now, A is 4 to the right of D. If D is here, you take D any place. So, first right, by default, focus see, facing towards the center, you can consider. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, A bill will be here. And A bill is second to the right of E. Lee. So, A bill is second to the right of E. Lee. So, E. Lee here. Then first right, second right is able. And who means this is related to Ely? Ely is diagonally opposed to Chad. This is what diagonal, diametrically, diameter, right? So from one end to other end. So C and D are opposite. That's what they want to convey. Now, finally, what is one statement left over is D is between Frank and Bob. Okay. Now, see, that's not happening, right? Between means there may be some gap also like this. You're still, they're not bit saying that exactly between. Wait, wait, wait. I think question is like, wait, wait, wait. This is wrong. This is wrong. Wait, wait. Question, this is not continuation part. One moment, one moment. If Abel is sitting to the second right of A. Lee, now, question is who is sitting diagonal opposed to chart? Question is who is sitting diagonal opposed to chart? This is not regarding A is opposed to chart. That's actually, there should be a comma. If you continue, that's what the problem. A bull is second to the right of A Lee. So, A Lee here. A Lee second right is A bull. Okay, now, okay, here we need Dom is between Frank and Bob. Then it can be Frank here, Bob here, or Frank here, Bob here. Who is sitting diametrically opposed to chart is Dom. So option D. Even we are not fixing who is here and who is here, still we are able to answer the question. Okay, who is sitting diametrically opposed to chart is nothing but Dom. So option D, diametrically opposed to chart. This because these two positions will be filled by Frank or Bob. Here, Bob, Bob or Frank like that. So, diametrically opposed to this, there is no issue. We can answer option D is correct. Here, there should be a comma. Or it is separated. Question is, who is sitting diametrically opposite to Chad? It's like opposite case only. Dom. Perfect. So, this is not continuation. Perfect. Now, again, see, syllogisms. This area, seating arrangement, syllogism, flow chart. If you know these three, then around 12 to 13 questions you can answer in critical thinking and problem solving. Statements and arguments also we'll discuss. Don't worry. Statements and arguments later, how they'll ask also, we'll discuss. No issues. Now, let's see about this one.
here statement some good people are bad people no bad people are excellent people now what is your conclusions conclusion is definitely true true in all diagrams it must be true in all diagrams some people are good people bad pe good people are bad people no bad people are excellent people some good people are bad people no bad people are excellent people this is one diagram i'll give you multiple diagrams see see some good people are bad people no bad people are excellent people this is also satisfying the given statement i can draw the diagram yeah it's satisfied given statement no so the problem is only bad people and excellent people are not connected fine this is also possible but the other side of the coin listen many may not do this some good people are bad people no bad people are excellent people see this area guys this one many are not aware of this fourth diagram and still i want to create with respect to fourth diagram only some good people are bad people no bad people are excellent people i can put excellent people inside only entire inside some part outside also now which is true in all diagrams is your conclusion some excellent people are not good people it failed here guys all excellent people are good people failed here in this diagram first one wrong second one no good people are excellent people good people excellent people connected second one false both fail neither nor in any diagram both conclusions fail then i can go for neither nor a diagram where both fail when both are failed it's neither nor some people draw only first diagram and claim that this is the answer drawing only second diagram claiming that no i given you four different diagrams here this is one diagram all together okay and you can see this is one diagram we have four different diagrams neither follows is your answer it's not both that's what the problem right it's not both you may draw only one diagram syllogism all possible diagrams then which is true in all cases syllogism lot we can learn again one more question related to syllogism let me see how many of you give the correct answer for this one all lizards are snakes okay some lizards are not birds yes yeah, some may be birds it's not meaning that listen some lizards are not birds means it's not meaning some lizards are birds we cannot say but fine okay some part of lizards are not birds this is one diagram so far so for one diagram right and yeah some lizards are birds that i cannot say that's what the problem it's not like okay some lizards are not birds listen how can i i say second one wrong with let us say let us i'll just give you a practical why second one wrong this is a bit tricky question the question which you are seeing right now 
is a tricky question. And first one also wrong. First one I will show with Viagra. Yeah. All lizards are snakes. Some lizards are not birds. I can draw like this. In this question, in this diagram, some snakes are not birds. Yeah, this is part of snake, which is not bird. This is part of snake. Okay, one moment. First one, we have to give the diagram, then decide. All lizards are snakes. I can take like this. The question is, some snakes are not birds. Yeah, here also some lizards are not birds. So some snakes, all this so far water I'm drawing. First one correct here. This is snakes area, not involved in bird. This is snakes area, not involved in bird. This is snakes area, not involved in bird. But wait. All lizards are snakes. Some lizards are not birds. Okay, good. Now, problem. Listen, okay, for this first one also, we will get the conclusion with respect to this point. Yeah, guys, okay, before going for this question, I just give you one point, one basic info. See, suppose, listen, students in my class are good. Students in my class are good. Okay, students who are attending my class are good. The students in my class are good. See this practical situation. Students in my class are good. Students in my class means some students, right? Students in my class are good means some students. Okay, now remaining students, students who are not in my class, they may be good. They may be not good also. There is a possibility. Remaining students may be good, may be not good also. Then what I have to go ahead what I have to go ahead. And now what we can understand here, here from this, there are two things possible. Some students, if the statement is like this, the statement is like this, there are two cases. Some students, students in my class are good, means some students. So some students are good. Remaining students, I don't know about remaining people, I cannot assume. Remaining people may be good, remaining people may be not good. So remaining people means I am considering them, okay, remaining students, let it be. That also I'll write for clarity, remaining. Remaining students, okay good remaining students are good or remaining students are not good remaining students are good or remaining students not good guys focus on this remaining students are good or remaining students are not good now what might be the outcome from this if suppose these students in my class are good and remaining also good means all students are good Students in my class are good and remaining students also good means there is a chance all students are good. So in statement, in statement, students, some students are good means there is a chance. It's not guarantee. It can be all students are good or some students are not good. Remaining students means some people, right? They are also not people. So some students are not good. So now... Listen, this is what the problem. Okay, in statement, in statement, students in my class are good means it, it might be a possibility all students are good I can take or I can take some students are not good. Right. Now, for this question, in statement, some lizards are not birds. Some lizards are not birds. Not what is given. No. Okay. Now, what I can do, instead of good, I'll write not bad. Some, some lizards are not birds. Some lizards are not birds. So, some students are not bad. Means, the result can be, some students are good. All students are not good. Not bad, sorry. 
means all students are good. See, this is two things possible. Listen, so this is what the problem. It can be results to, okay, some students are, remaining students may be good. I know about only few people, they are not bad. One moment, okay. Remaining students are not bad or remaining students are bad. I'll put the word bad directly. Bad in behavior, maybe it's not about okay, some other things, or so maybe they are aggressive, likewise. Okay, so here, when it is not bad, it can be some students are bad, it can be all students are not bad, also. Now, problem is that we are drawing the diagram when some lizards are not birds, you are drawing the diagram for some lizards are bird. Here, some lizards are bird, some lizards are bird, some lizards are bird, like that we are drawing, but there is the other area. In statement, some lizards are not birds means I can also go with no lizard is bird. If I draw like that, then both will be out. I can consider no lizard is bird also. Then if no lizard is bird, second statement directly wrong. No lizard is bird also possibility. Here they said some lizards are bird. It's not always true. Now if I go with that diagram, okay, like some all lizards are snakes, no lizard is bird. I can go like this. Then some snakes are not birds. No, all snakes are not birds here. In fact, okay, somebody is unmuting trying to the first one. We'll focus on second one. Damn sure I think you got the clarity here. Second one, I hope you got the clarity. It's not about okay. Second one failed. I, I think you understand that point. Second one failed. It's not some lizards are birds. That's what some lizards are not birds, meaning it can result to some lizards are birds or no lizard is a bird. Second one gone. First one you have to decide now. With considering this, draw the diagram. Consider this and draw the diagram also. No lizard is bird. All lizards are snakes. No lizard is bird. And now some snakes are not birds. Yes. In fact, all snakes are not birds also. Some snakes are not birds. That's Still here also conclusion one is true and other area some snakes all lizards are snakes no lizard is bird if you consider like that also first one true so guys you draw any such diagram still some part of snakes are not birds is true no snake is bird also it's meaning some snakes are not birds only that's correct only it's only one follows it's not neither nor. I'm just giving you all the briefing what is required. It's not about batting the things, dear. It's not about I'm drawing the diagram. This is the answer you need to bat. You should try all different, different possibilities. Why this? This question may be taking time. Next time onwards, you can solve the question in a pretty much fast way. But you just check it out. Okay, how we are concluding this. A lot of people may think about some students are not bad. Means definitely some students are but no all students are not bad also will comes under picture this area also you need to focus with that point second one definitely wrong first conclusion here true in all diagrams whatever i draw so i can go with only one follows all these diagrams first one correct sir here in this diagram no snake is bird sir no snake is bird can be taken as some snakes are not birds. When our no is there, no snake is bird or all snakes are birds, not birds. When our all is there, some is allowed. When our all is there, some is definitely true. All snakes are not birds, then I can take some snakes are not birds. That's always allowed. So I can say it's one follows everywhere. Somebody said neither nor. Okay, if that is the case, let me know the diagram from your end. Okay, where it is failed. First one failed. When there is no connection also, we can take some deer. We can take some. Manam, some this coach. No one na pudu kode, some this coach. Ella said, all students are good and napudu. Compulsory students in my class are good. All unna put some this coach. All students are good and chapte. Kachitanga students in my class are good. That's why whenever all is there, some is granted. Some is granted. Now again, back to that seating arrangements. 
to this 18th question. Six dresses. Arrange them. Six. And you need to calculate what is the left end of the row. In question, right end is already given. Green is at the right end of the row. We need to calculate left end. In metal, only one question from one database. Sir, like co cubes, when I'll discuss all different different things we kept. Co cubes and V box pretty much similar. Only one thing, V box and co cubes, you need to worry is. In pseudo codes, they are giving theory questions in V box. In pseudo codes, they'll give certain theory questions in V box. Flow chart also they'll give theory questions in V box. Yeah, uh, to give input output, which symbol is required in flow chart? That is parallelogram, rectangle, circle, or rhombus shape. Like that, they'll ask. You have to know flow chart symbols meaning. Oval shape for starting and ending the flow chart or start or end of the process. Parallelogram for what? A decision loop for what? Rectangle for what? That you have to know. Now here, fine. So the red is on to the left of violet, which is neither beside blue or green. The blue is in between white and pink. Blue is between white and pink. Fine. There is a chance it can be like this as well. Sorry. It can be like this. Those three we need to put at one go. The red dress and blue dress are not each other. No, red and blue not each other. That's anyhow. The red dress is on the left of the violet dress, which is neither beside. Red is on the left of violet. Okay. And uh, yeah, violet is not neighbor of blue or green. So violet cannot, RV I cannot put here because violet is not related to blue or not related to green. So I can throw this red and violet here. WBP, you just check once. Is this satisfying all conditions or not? Green is at the right end. Yes. Red is on to the left of violet. Violet is not neighbor of blue or green, perfect. Blue is in between white and pink, perfect. Red and blue dress are not each other. So fine, all those satisfied and I can go with option A. All those are satisfied. In general, left means not immediate left, but here when you try, okay, as uh, everything, they said right and left like that. They not use the word immediate right, immediate left. I just taken like right, uh, right as immediate right, left as immediate right and I proceeded. Because there is no such clarity in the question. And okay, if we work on it entire together, we got this arrangement possibility. Or who is at the left end of the row is nothing but red. Perfect. Now see about 19. This type of questions you need to solve in 9, okay, uh, 60 to 70 seconds only. Don't take too much time. I believe this is done. This is completed. Repeated. Metal platform advantage, you know, same questions will repeat. Questions will repeat in metal. That's why practicing more and more previous questions related to metal will help you. If metal platform, they are giving an exam. Now see this back to syllogism. And let me see. Is this taking too much time or less time? There is a new term dear. Only things that need air are plants. It's not about some, you people may know about some A R B, all X R Y, no X is Y, some P R not Q, but here they use the word only. Only things that need air are plants. How to draw diagram related to that? All tulip are plants, fine. Only things that need air are plants. Yeah, 
so all plants require e this is vice versa see if they given in question only a is b means all b are a only things that need air are plants so plants definitely require a all plants require air now all tulips need air yes something that need air are tulips yes both follows only one and two in fact that's something but both follow if one follow automatically two will follow right yeah many when it's one follow so you know definitely two will follow If one is true, okay. When all is there, reverse is some. No, when one is true, then definitely two will be true. Something that need air, yeah. This is some area, so something that need air. Something not all right. This is some area, okay. Or some part of air is to live. That's why indirectly, if you are want to bring it down, so some air are not all right. Something. Wait. Okay. Are we some air or tulips is what I am understanding from this conclusion, or can we modify this something that need air? So the one which require air or tulips. Wait. Wait. Okay. So how can we understand this statement? Second one. Then depends on that answer will come. I understand this as some air or tulips. We need to be good in English. I am not that much good. Okay. Open to say. Okay. something that need air means okay the plants need air something this is not some air i consider that something that need air as some air can we consider that some air or it's like plants something that need air only things that need air are plants So only plants. So something that need air as per the question is plant. All plants are. If suppose yeah, this is all plants are tulips. If that is the meaning, then it's wrong. If it is some air or tulips, then it's correct. Depends on how we are understanding this statement. How sorry, how we are understanding the statement. something that need air if you understand that as some air or tulips then it's correct if we consider something that need air is plants or plants or tulips no some part of plants are not tulips right so if depends on how we understand that plants or tulip means wrong only things that need air are plants something that need air is plant only i need to mention if plants are tulips then this will be gone problem is that okay so sensible thing is i can go with this plants are tulips related it's only one follow something that need air in question only things that need air are plants so i can replace that with plant plants are tulips no okay all plants are not tulips this is plant area not in tulips so in that consideration we are going with only one follow something that need air means it's not about some it's about plant which need we need air is they given the statement already plant so plants are tulips no it's only one follows they are giving tricky words like this we need to be very much attentive now let's see about this paragraph this is how statements and conclusions they'll give a big paragraph you understand and you have to conclude in fact this is almost like verbal only they given a big statement read it and we'll decide okay which among this is true let's read that statement first a paragraph the metropolitan area of city includes the suburban areas around it okay The largest metropolitan area in the America state of Ohio is that of Cincinnati followed by the state of Columbus the capital city the largest metropolitan area in the american city is this ohio is that of 
Sin City followed by that of Columbus. Columbus is the capital city. Columbus is the, also the largest city in the state, the third largest in the American Midwest region, and the 15th largest in the United States of America. So, guys, this is what the entire paragraph It's almost like reading a passage and answering the question. Now, is it first one correct? Ohio contains two of the four largest cities in the American Midwest. Largest city. Columbus is also the largest city in the state and third largest. Columbus is third largest. Right? And you know, the largest metropolitan area in the American city, American state of Ohio, is that of Cincinnati followed by that of Columbus. So, in that Ohio, state of Ohio, area, largest metropolitan area is Cincinnati. Cincinnati and followed by Columbus. Columbus is the largest city, third largest in American Midwest. When this is third largest, Cincinnati may be second or first. So Ohio contains two of the four largest cities that I think we can consider, right? That we can consider. Regarding suburban, urban cities, we cannot say they given only a suburban. Regarding urban centers, there is no discussion regarding urban. Second one wrong, but first one makes sense. Columbus is the third largest city. And over here, this is more than Sin City followed by this. So Sin City is more metropolitan area, largest one. That's more than this Columbus means. That is regarding largest city, size only. So Sin City is definitely, Cincinnati is definitely more than that Columbus. So that will be in top two or three. Okay, this is third place, third largest means it will take one or two position. Sin City will take one or two position and this is third one. So, Ohio will contain among top four, two places is occupied by Ohio State. That I think we can consider first one. C, Cincinnati is the second largest city in Ohio. In Ohio, Cincinnati is the second largest. Ohio is that okay? That's first one. Since the TRC, the largest metropolitan area, second largest city in Ohio. No, it can be first also. Since it can be first among the largest cities or second, that I cannot decide. Since it lies in the American Midwest region, that I cannot say. Okay. Now, D and A, you have to decide here. Cincinnati lies in the American Midwest. Columbus is the largest city in the state, the third largest in the American Midwest region. And Columbus is 15th largest in the United States of America. So, guys, see this. You decide which one is. I'm sure we can eliminate B. But this is regarding okay Midwest region or whether Cincinnati comes under Midwest region, that's what one problem. Two of the four largest, that's fine. We can say, but is it comes under this Cincinnati, comes under Midwest region or this? this D is giving a question for A. D is questioning regarding A actually. Problem is here. D with A problem. D and A. Uh, because D, they are asking whether Cincinnati lies in our American Midwest. If D correct, then A. If A correct, then I can say D is also correct. We are talking about that two cities, Cincy, Cincinnati and Columbus. We are taking one, two, three positions regarding that means that should, that's regarding American Midwest. Here also they clearly mention American Midwest. If we mention regarding that, then we have to worry about A and D. If A is correct, then automatically D also correct. So it, it is there is no statement in the question that that Cincinnati comes under American Midwest. That's both A and D putting as a dot. Now let me think about C at least. So what is C saying that Cincinnati is the second largest city in Ohio? Okay. Ohio, the largest metropolitan area in the American, the metropolitan area of a city includes the suburban areas around it. The largest metropolitan area in the American state of Ohio is that of 
Cincinnati followed by state of of Columbus. So Cincinnati must be first in Ohio. Followed by Columbus means second will be Columbus. So third one also doubt. If A is like Ohio contains two of the largest cities is fine, but A and D is again contradicting. Columbus is also the largest city in the state, the third largest in the American Midwest region. And the 15th largest in the United States of America. Entire USA, Columbus is 15th largest one and third largest in the Midwest region. So, A or D is what I think. What you are understanding here? Guys, what's your area of concern here? Is it? A or D or C what I B I am eliminating because there is no discussion regarding urban. This is regarding urban. This is suburban something like there is no discussion regarding with respect to given statement we need to decide. Yes anyone what's your answer you are thinking about. Okay, A and D, if that's the contradictory. Okay, I cannot decide since it is in Midwest, then, uh, then only I can decide regarding two of the four lodges, something like that. But fine, so here, Columbus is also largest city in the state. Fine, but what is the position of that in the state is not given. Columbus, since it is, this is one possibility. C might be one possibility, option C, but A and D is contradicting. Okay, if A is true, then D is true. Or if D is true, then A will be true. Right, and regarding B, there is an issue. Okay, there is no discussion regarding herbal. I can go with option C among all possibilities. C is what I am thinking about. Yeah, this is the actual question of the screen. Yeah, option C. Among all possibilities with option C only. Inference is C. A and D contradict. If A and D both. If, if I say D true, then A true. A true means D true. Obviously, that will be the problem. Now, let's see about this coding and decoding related stuff. Abstract reasoning related. So, for more questions related to critical thinking and problem solving, now see this coding and decoding. Which can be inferred is the previous question. Now let's see about this coding and decoding. Rocket is coded as 72, then common is what? <coughs> if rocket is 72, common is what? In general, related to coding and decoding, what we have to do? For the given question, take forward values. Write to voltage is 18, R value 18, O 15, C 3, Kings 11, Punjab, K value 11, E Jyoti, E 5, J 10, O 15, T 20. Right, so we have to generally do forward coding and addition. If that is failed, then we have to think about other 15 plus 5, 20, 20, and 20, 40. Okay, 40 and this 14, 54 plus 18, 70. Forward coding addition only. Then 1 over 15 plus 15, 30. 13 plus 13, 26. Then this is for 3 plus 14, 17. So we got all together 73. Option C is correct. 73 is correct. Option C, 73 is correct. Right. Now, see this. That's number coding. This is letter coding. Letters to letters. CLLL, CLLY is coded as CLNY. Then RAGE is coded as what? Coding and decoding, abstract reasoning, coding and decoding, series, analogy, add one out. Statements and arguments, statements and assumptions, statements and conclusions or inferences, those area, one or two questions possible that they are asking critical thinking. 
and i recommend everyone to start with abstract reasoning that's the area where 15 questions but you will take hardly 10 to 11 minutes only to complete you can get more marks in less time and you will get some okay positive attitude then you can move for the other things c l l y is given as c l n y then rage is what every option starts with t then think about that at least all options started with the t Yes, attain code language C L L Y. Let me check is that is there any mistake is this in the typing? Because we type this. So small correction we did in previous one is instead of C L L Y, we take an E L N Y. Okay, then plus two plus two middle one same as it is likewise. Then if you apply plus two for alternate and remaining we kept as it is, we got option B. Whereas this is regarding co cubes related stuff. For the same data, they are asking two questions. And here, first of all, they're given Bill owns a goat. Bill and goat are, uh, there are five people, five different things we need to map. Okay, first I'm going Bill and goat are gone uh, because they're given directly Bill owns a goat. So Bill is fixed. Then I'm focusing on Jock because Jock here and here. Jock don't want Yak, Jock don't want cow, Jock don't want uh, horse. So Jock go with sheep. So Jock and sheep closed. Next, I'm focusing on Jill. Jill don't want horse and yak. So, goat is already gone. Jill don't want horse and yak means Jill should go with only cow. So, Jill and cow gone. Now, three only assigned. There is a problem. Mary and Kylie may got yak or horse. Okay, here first question is what cow will be taken by Jill. But here, they are given for clearing this issue. If Mary is going with horse, then Kaylee go with what is nothing but yak. That's the given clearly here. We can take it. Now let's see about this data sufficiency related one. Data sufficiency related stuff. In his annual exam, the average of the marks scored by Sham is 86. What are his marks in the 50 subject? That's the average marks of the marks scored by Sam is 86. Now, 50 subject marks you want. Can you answer using statement 1 alone? Can you answer using statement 2 alone? Or put together? Some people may argue for 1 alone. 1 alone is possible if they given total 5 subjects is given in question. If total 5 subjects average is 86, 4 subjects is 85. Then I can calculate fifth subject. 86 into 5 minus 85 into 4 will give that fifth subject. But total number of subjects is 5 not given anywhere. Total number of subjects is not there anywhere. One alone not possible. My dear friend, one alone not possible because you don't know about total number of subjects. Two alone, they said total subjects are 6. Okay. Fourth subject is one less than the sixth subject. Okay. But I cannot calculate the fifth subject because it's about six subjects are available. Two alone not possible. Two alone not possible. Together possible. How together possible, sir? Fourth and sixth they given. Okay. Fine. Together also we need to check. Fine, let us go for together. Alone not possible for sure. Together I will show how can we handle this question. Alone not possible. Together possible or together not possible to be decided. See in question, 6 subjects average is given. I think we can handle together. 6 subjects average is given means subject 1 plus sub summation. All 6 subjects 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sum of 5 subjects is equal to 86 into 6 using given question only and statement 2. 6 subjects is there. From that I can get that idea. Now using statement 1, first statement. 
Okay, I will put ST here, statement. Otherwise, here S1, here S1, you may confuse. This is ST, statement one, statement. Now, six subject summation is 86 into 6. As per statement one, four subject summation is nothing but 85 into 4. Okay, from these two, I can calculate S5 plus X6 is some value we'll get. And I want fifth one, no? If I know sixth one, I can math fifth one. Mass code in four subject is one less than the sixth subject. Fifth subject, if they're given, then okay. Fifth and sixth, there is a understanding we can solve. But together also not sufficient here. Together also not sufficient here. I want S5. Here relationship is fourth subject is one less than the sixth subject. Here S5 and S6 will be obtained from these two expressions. If you subtract 86 into 6, which is 516, 48 and 3, 516 minus here 320 and 20, 340. From 516, 300 gone means 216. And 40 gone means 176. Right. But I cannot calculate S5 still because the relation between here they mention 50 subject is 1 less than 6, and then we can handle in this one. But together also not sufficient here. Put together not sufficient. We need additional data. Together, not both statements are individually sufficient. Neither of the statements individual and together. See, neither statement individual together is sufficient. Together also not possible. Individual also not possible. Option B. Together not sufficient. Only one of the statements is this. Here alone, one alone, two alone possible means this. Together possible means D. One alone, two alone possible means C. 1 alone possible, 2 alone not possible, or 2 alone possible, 1 alone not possible, then A. This is how the options are. Let me see what you people opted. Together not sufficient problem is that. We thought of together is okay, but the second statement is fourth subject is one less than the sixth subject. If they're given fifth is one less than something we can handle here. Now, fine, okay. Image based question. Abstract reasoning. In abstract reasoning, they'll ask image based questions. Diagram based questions or image based questions also they're asking. Now, see this image based questions here. Image based questions. If you observe triangle, triangle is in the same place. Now, one time shaded, one time not shaded, one time shaded, one time not shaded. Now, unshaded required. So, this option eliminated. Next, if you look into the bottom, U removed, V. W removed, X. Y removed, Z. A removed, B required. So, this corner should be B. In fact, all these options have B. Now, what about other one? Middle should be unshaded. Here also middle unshaded only, every option. Now, finally, this is the one which is deciding. East direction, then south direction, then west direction, then north direction, then again east required. So, this is how it should be. In fact, first and last both are same options only here, but they will be, okay, something here, shading will be given. If it is shading, eliminate, this is the correct answer. We can go with last option. I agree as per whatever I given diagram here. I given first and last both are same, but in general, they definitely they will make sure about one among this is different. Shading, unshading like that. It's A or D agreed, agreed. As per this, I given A option 1 or 4. Agreed. Now see then, next one, data sufficiency again. This is CoCubes platform actually. 
in cocktails question below they will go like this a b c d wanted like kept all three platforms mixing related so that what are the platform it comes to your exam you people will be convenient convenient to go ahead if you want separately i'll share you the videos after the class is completed i'll share videos separately regarding cocubes v box and a metal platform all separately no percentage of students who failed in a class one alone they said only boys and girls ratio with that failed i cannot say two alone 40% of the boys and 60% of the girls passed but what is the boys and girls two alone also i cannot say actually together possible or not we have to check listen yeah together it seems possible for me let me go ahead okay together possible how sir as per first statement boys and girls are 5 is to 6 you take 500 600 you take 50 60 also same answer will come percentage no percentage will not disturb if we take 50 60 also percentage will not disturb no boys pass this 40% failed question is regarding failed failed or 60% 60% fail means 300 failed girls pass their 60% failed or 40% 240 failed boys this is a serious matter we need to consider right they we have to put case on this candidate so boys fail, passed less only they given right so fine overall failed is 540 failed out of total 1100 boys plus girls in the class 1100 so we can get the percentage obviously so i'll take 50 60 means 54 here 110 54 out of 110 Or 540 after out of 1100 percentage will be same. Together sufficient, I can say. Together sufficient. Two alone, no. Boys and girls both are equal or less. That we have to know, right? Plus two alone, some people are giving the answer. 40 percent of the boys, 60 percent of the girls, fine. But how many boys, how many girls in that class is required to answer that? If both are equal, then the answer will be different. Okay. Or else, if you are worrying, sir, in fact, this assumption is not required. Listen. See the same question. I can give the pass percentage. What is pass percentage? Is five into forty percent plus six into sixty percent? Because this is regarding pass. Boys passed, girls passed. Ratio is five and six. This is pass percentage. Then remaining are failed. Right, so 240 and 200, 440 divided by 11. So 360, right? 360 and 200, 560. This is 360. 560 divided by 11 is passed. This is pass percentage. Remaining, this is pass percentage. Okay, 540 divided by 11 is fail because adding these to 100 percent will come. Pass plus fail is total number of hundred percent will come. Five sixty plus five forty is eleven hundred. Eleven hundred divided by eleven is hundred percent total will come. So that's what. Okay, you can see five forty divided by eleven hundred. That into hundred percentage will cancel. Divide by eleven only. That's what. Into hundred will come when percentage of so this zero zero will cancel. So put together sufficient. Put together sufficient. Not alone. Not alone. Now again, co-cubes. This is how they ask. One passage. Co-cubes are V-box in general, but this is a co-cubes question. One passage, and below that you can identify. There are couple of questions they are asking. All right, three questions related to that. Now see this. Eight books are kept one over the other, counting from the top. Second, fifth, and sixth books are on English literature. Eight books are there, so we have to write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven like that. Second book is related to English literature. Fifth and sixth also English literature. Fifth is literature. Sixth is also literature. Okay. 
two books of literature books are between grammar see this is two books of literature are between the grammar they are saying so this should be grammar this should be grammar two books of literature are between grammar this is two literatures are between grammar one book of literature is between two books of vocabulary so this is one book of literature that's between vocabulary okay now question fourth from the top grammar next there is one more which is at the which book which is the while well, the book at the top of the book of poetry is grammar grammar top above is poetry above is grammar so eighth will be poetry we have eight books poetry above grammar the tech book at the top of the book of english poetry is book of english so top of poetry is grammar grammar is just above poetry that's what so fourth from the top is grammar and last from the top which book is last from the top is nothing but poetry and next one seventh from the top seventh from the top means second from the bottom seventh from the top means second from the bottom grammar grammar there are only four different type of books vocabulary literature poetry and grammar literature three books vocabulary two grammar two and uh, poetry one it seems right so total eight books now again image based question the last paper folding paper cutting all those stuff this is one question related Yeah, eight is the one which is required. So this is eliminated. This is eliminated. And diagonally we require this diagonal next to this diagonal, this diagonal, then this diagonal. Shade, unshade, shade. Okay, or else no, not required like that. The shading is moving. Shading here, shading here, shading here. Shading will come here. Shading should come. Here, that's only this number two, four, six, eight. Then shading one. If you observe, shading one is here in one diagram. Okay, first diagram. In second diagram, it is here. In third diagram, shading one here. Fourth one should be in this place. So that's why we are going for option B. Our second one. Simple. now statements and conclusions whenever some are not is there it's a confusion question only okay and here all pencils are not sharp means no okay this can be written as no pen is sharpener this is short note no pen is sharpener no pen is sharpener all pens are erasers no eraser is a sharpener so definitely no pen is a sharpener second one correct this is pen regarding pencil and sharpener some pencils are not pens i can draw like this this is pencil some this is pencil area not is there in pens but no pencil sharpener fail here so this is wrong so only two follows all pens are not sharpeners is nothing it's not both it seems yeah me take one here first one fail for me right you see here is this first one fail is the diagram satisfying my statement some pencils are not pens i can draw like this also you are drawing maybe inside only Yes, yeah, some of you. What you do, no? Okay, you may draw this diagram like all pens are 
all pens are erasers no erase is a sharpener you may be drawn like some pencils are not pens like this then you are claiming first one correct second one correct both correct no pencil is sharpener okay agree this is fine but conclusion must be true in all diagrams it's failed in my diagram here yeah i'm not understanding why that's eliminated perfect now look into this question this is how they are asking in uh, cocubes platform flow chart cocubes related platform flow chart related question yeah first yeah i'll just show you this is how step started pqr the right side of this every step they'll mention the statement but for visibility i just went it down okay here i given box numbers this box numbers related thing general they'll ask in cocubes sometimes they'll ask in v box also in a similar fashion now here what is first step is add box 1 and box 4 put in box 2 p means this one for p there is no problem there is no condition p is first step add number in box 1 plus number in box 4 put the result in box 2 okay box 1 is 2 box 4 is 3 adding that we got 5 so box 2 is updated to 5 box 2 updated to 5 okay then q is q step is number in box 3 minus 2 number in box 9 0 the result is 0 put that in box 10 put that in box 10 next r step is number in box 2 this is a decision loop that is why yes means we'll go next no means we'll go directly this is directly this is fail if this is fail directly go for t step if this is okay yes step if it is yes means go to o no means we should go down okay yes might be okay it's like a loop we'll check that fine but here r is failed or not is number in box number in box 2 is 5 5 is less than minus 2 no if it is no we observed here no means directly go for the t step no means we can move for the t step right okay here there is no connection actually this line should be removed that small should be removed there is no connection between s and t actually if s is true we have to go for q if s is false we have to go for u there is no link between s and t r true means s yes, false means t if s is true go for q and repeat the process if s is false go for u but here we already bypassed and went for t what is t step directly t r add number in box 6 box 6 is minus 1 number in box 4 3 the result is 2 put that in box 5 the result is to put that in box 5 box 5 is updated okay after this after this subtract u must be done okay i'll show okay just check it out u must be done after t u must be done then end u is what box 10 minus box 5 box 10 minus box 5 box 10 is having Zero, right? Box ten is having zero. Box ten is zero. Zero. Box ten is zero. Zero minus number in box five two. So zero minus two. The result is minus two. Update that in box six. So now this chart is completed. Okay, this is become minus two. Minus one become minus two. Fine. Now, what are the questions? They last three questions minimum. First one. how many boxes have negative values at the end of the flow chart guys how many boxes have negative values at the end of the flow chart so how many negative values are there 1 2 only 2 that is box 3 and box 6 initially there are 3 but box 2 is updated only box 3 and box 6 is having negative values 
Only two boxes have negative values. Close. Next 35 is box 2 less than box 4. Box 2 value 5. Box 4 value 3. 5 less than 3. Is it true? No. Option C. Now let's, okay, that's what two questions are like, but there are the other questions also they asked. I just skipped it, but this is how the stuff they'll ask in co-cubes flowchart. In metal, okay, they'll give one one question only for one one flowchart. Flowcharts also not in this way. They'll give some values. We need to calculate average for that or you need to calculate 10% of that. What is the profit? Ceiling price will be given. Cost price is given. What is the profit? Like that, they'll give a flowchart. If you are purchasing more than 10 units, then give 10% discount. Less than 10 units, 5% discount. They'll give flow in that way, not in this. They'll give general questions in that. Now, series. This is abstract reasoning related. Abstract reasoning related. This is the 36th question here. Here if you observe that differences, this is slow increasing. If we take difference, then you can understand. We have 7 gap, 10 gap, 13 gap, then 16 gap means 67. Then you can observe 19 gap is what 86 as well. So let's keep continuing. It's a very basic question. Slow increasing, take difference between numbers. Fast increasing, there is some multiplication involved. Now, pseudo codes, few set of questions I just want to mention, guys. Okay, if you focus on pseudo code, okay, uh, critical reasoning, abstract reasoning, you'll get more scores. Pseudo codes also don't start. Go with the questions which is small. See, this is very small question. Now, first, solve pseudo codes with less number of lines. And the, what are the platform it is? Navigation allowed. You can move from one question to other question. You can move from one section to other section. Navigation allowed. So, which is less lines you go ahead. In fact, MS Office and networking also, you don't take much time. That's all theory based and diagram based questions. Nothing to do calculation or analyze, analysis. If you know the question, you'll answer. Or else, you'll just go for ABCD something, one among that, right? Navigation allowed you in pseudo codes also don't struck with lengthy questions. I'm not saying you cannot solve that. It'll take time. Initially, first to focus, let us say, in 30 to 40 minutes, you should be able to solve 50 questions. You go for the questions. In English also, initially comprehension, reading comprehension, you skip. The questions which is lengthy, you skip. Directly seeing, attempting, yes, there are uh, questions related to articles, fill the blanks, para jumbles. Para jumbles also, you can take second priority. But fill the blanks, questions in English regarding proportions, filling or articles, filling, antonyms, synonyms, by seeing, you can give the answer. Those which is taking less time in each section, first to complete it. Even MS Office and common applications, Okay, what is the shortcut key for paste? Control V, like that. Okay, which of the following is not the uh, version of MS Office? MS Office, we know 2017, 7 is there, 13 is there, right? Different versions, but which 2003 is also there, which is not the following uh, versions related to MS Office. If you know, you can answer that question hardly in 10 seconds, right? So, in pseudo codes, also, I first suggest to people to go for if you're starting at water, we are starting at the ending. I was starting at the first, I am not worrying about that. But focus on, okay, in one which is easy and fast going. Now, if you go for C is A, X, R, B, X, R operation, same means always zero. Suppose C is equal to P, X, R, P, the result is Z, zero. Here, 2, X, R, 2, the result is zero. X, R, if different is there, then only one will come. If same is there, it will be zero only. So, same means always XR operation will give zero result. So, print to C is nothing but zero. If you are not aware of XR operation, they are clearly mentioned. The corresponding, yeah, 
both of its are fine. Actually, the thing is like one bit is zero, other bit is one. Okay, the corresponding result is one. Otherwise, the corresponding result bit is said to be zero. One is zero, one is one. First one zero, second one one, or first one different. In fact, you just go if both are different. Zero x or one is nothing but one. One x or zero is nothing but one. But zero x or zero same means zero. Okay, same means zero. Here two x or two actually we have to write two in binary. One zero two in binary one zero. Okay, x or operation if you perform for one x or one zero for zero x or zero. So we'll get zero only as the result. Option C. Now see this type of questions also will not take much time. It keep updating. Okay, you update and go for. This is not a extra operation. Nothing involved, right? So choose the questions gently to save the time initially. At the end, okay, depends on time permits, which area people are comfortable. Some people are very good in pseudo codes compared to English. Then spend four hours questions. See initially, at least a couple of questions in each section. You need to go. Then you try to focus on improving overall score. Some people have good strength in verbal. You go for verbal to improve the overall score. If you are good in pseudo codes, go for pseudo codes and improve your overall score. First minimum score in each section you focus and overall score then you focus. Right. So in fact, seating arrangements also if it is taking time in. If you are thinking it is taking time, you skip it. Flowcharts will take less time. You can go ahead with flowchart. Abstract reasoning will take less time. You can go ahead with that. Right, so you plan things. That's why practice tests are very much playing role. You plan by taking practice tests. All this you need to practice. Don't start with I have to start only with verbal. There is no problem. Navigation alone, you can start any section, any question. Right. Now A is updated. C will be updated as A is now seven. Seven minus four, it will become three. Then C itself, C plus A, A is seven, right? So I, I we always recommend to use this thing. When our update is there, you keep change that. Then we can use according seven plus three ten. Now C is updated to ten. B equal to B plus C. B is four. C is ten now. So this, that is again C only. C equal to B plus C. So B is four. C is ten. Fourteen. C is updated to fourteen. Now B equal to B plus C. So four plus fourteen, which become eighteen. Now print A, B, C. So seven, eighteen, and fourteen. Option D, C. This type of questions you can focus. I agree there are some questions with XR operation. Now I'll show that. Okay, I'll discuss couple of questions in that area as well. But I recommend in this fashion to attack the questions. The one which is easy, less time taken within a minute. Yes. So this question, yeah, we'll discuss. See this. Integer c and d, c and d values are given. Fine. C and d values are already there. Okay. Now, d equal to c minus one. You are printing at d equal to c minus one means d equal to nothing but fourteen. You are asking to print it. So fourteen will be printed. This is not correct. This is not correct. First should be 14. Print. Sorry, print C. 15. Okay, wait a minute. Print C, not print D. Print C is given. So this is eliminated. It, first 15 is printed. Then C is equal to D plus D value 14. D is updated to 14. Take that updated one. D is 14. Fine. Then C equal to D plus C minus 2. 15 minus 2. 29 minus 2, we got 27. Okay. Now, if C is less than 40, yes, 27 is less than 40 satisfied. I have to go to line means print it. Line means that print statement. I have to go. Next, I have to print C value 27. Next, again I need to update. Now C is 27. 15 become 27. Now again I need to repeat this step. What is this step? D 14 only. C is 27. So 
So 41 minus 239, this is still less. Again, I need to go and print it. 39 will be printed. Now, next time again, if you go for this C value, we got 14 plus 39, 53. 53 minus 2, it's 51. So, greater than, okay, it's C less than 40. It's not satisfied. We have to end it. That's it. There is no steps. We need to stop. We can go for option C. So, 15, 27, 13. This type of easy questions are available. You can handle. Don't worry about, okay, too many things. I'll share you MS Office material. I'll share you networking material. You can just go through it and prepare nothing. Now here, so this type of questions is big worry for us, sir. Okay, don't worry. See, integer PQR, fine, sir. Here XR operation, under operation, all are there, sir. What can be done, sir? Fine, listen. Instead of, do you see, my logic is very simple. My logic is generally very simple. I'll go. I'll tell you, okay, this condition, this condition, both satisfied, then only you'll enter, right? Two things I'll go like, okay, if see, if this is true, I have to execute this. If this is false, I have to go for this one, right? I don't check this statement. I don't check this statement. P is 2, okay, R, Q is 7, R is 4. I don't want to check this statement. In fact, fine, 3 greater than P, 3 is greater than 2. This is true. This is satisfied. Easy to check. 3 is greater than 2, but this one will may take time. XR operation we need to perform and all. What I will do in general, if that is multiple things I need to check, okay. If suppose this is true, two cases. True means R must be equal to 4. 4 means 1 double 0 and R. See, and operation for same will be same. 4 and 4 will be 4 only and operation always will be same. If you do and operation for same variable, it will be same only. R value will be 4 only. Then my answer P plus Q plus R should be equal to 2 plus 7 plus 4, 13. Is 13 there in the answer or not? It's available. Okay, fine. If this is failed, if this is failed, if that is failed, I need to update Q value. Q value is what? R plus P. So R is 2. P is nothing but. So R plus R value 4, P is 2. So 6Q becomes 6. Then P plus Q plus R as per this is 2 plus 6 plus 4, 12. 12 is not there. So answer is B. Only one among this is available, no? Why I have to check that if condition? How I have to do Q, okay, XR5? So no, I want true procedure. Okay. And the operation is both true, then only we have to enter. This is already true. 3 greater than 2 only. 5 plus Q means Q is 7. 5 plus 7, 12. Q XR 5 is less than 12 or not. Okay, I'll show Q XR. Q value is what? 7. 7 means 1, double 1, double 1, 0 or all 1s. All 1s, right. 5 means 1, 0, 1. If I do XR operation, I'll get 0, 1, 0, which is nothing but equal to 2. 2 is less than 12. True. This is also true. When both true, I need to perform this one only. That's why 13 is correct answer. Okay. You can do this is what the original procedure to handle. But instead of that, okay, when there are too many complications in condition, Okay, if that is not there, this is the one. So I'll check this one and that one both. Which answer is available? Only one among that means then blindly go with that. If 13 to all both are there, then I have to check that condition. If only one is there, then why worry, right? That's how okay I'm handling. That's what my logic here, right? I'm agreeing we have to do as per the procedure, but they are giving less time, no? 90 questions, 90 minutes is not at all okay for a BTEC student, including network security, cloud computing all this MS office, all this stuff, putting that, okay, that's not justified, right? Now, what will be the output of this pseudocode? First thing is what? I have to take I value 1. I value 1. Then for that, J equal to 1. 
then for that j equal to 2 in i equal to 1 i have to take j value 1 j value 2 both in this case first printing display i plus j means i plus j will give 2 then i plus j printing is 3 i value 1 done next i value 2 where to go i value 1 completed then where to go for i value 2 when you go for i value 2 again j value 1 means 3 only will come next j value 2 means 4 will come so again don't waste your time 2 double 3 only one option there itself we can stop in fact if we start analyzing up to the end we will get 2 double 3 double 4 5 like that okay so last will be this see minimum see minimum is this maximum is this is that's easy no 1 plus 1 2 minimum maximum 3 plus 2 5 2 to 5 only one option maximum is both values maximum you can take minimum is both values minimum you can take so minimum 2 maximum 5 like this you can go do smart work now see about 42 here all are integers fine okay now q value 13 they said fine Now each from P1 to 4. So first we will take P value 1. P value 1. Then R equal to Q 13. Mod every number is divided by 1. Modulus means it will give reminder. 13 percentage as per programming point of view. MOD means mod operation. It will give reminder. Reminder when 13 divided by 11. 13 divided by 1 sorry will be 0. So, R value is 0. P value is nothing but P plus 5. P is already 1. 1 plus 5 means 6. Q value is P plus 4. P plus R. 6 plus R value is 0. You can put P value 1 becomes 6 actually. Uh, R value becomes 0. Now, R, Q you are updating right now. Q is nothing but 6 plus 0 which is equal to 6. Okay. End for loop. Then R equal to Q by 5 is the next step. If, uh, in fact, after this, fine. Then I have to go for P value 2, sir. P is already 6. You cannot enter into the loop. P is already 6. This loop is for P value 1 to 4. P is already updated to 6. After this, Q equal P plus 4. You may... Think about sir, P is increasing. Go for P value 2. No, P is already 6. It cannot enter into this loop. Gone. Now R equal to Q by 5. We got 1.2. Okay. Some fraction. It is integer. No, it will save integer means R value 1. Guys, R is integer. Integer. So it should be 1 only. Integer. Because R is integer, we have to take integer value. We have to print Q and R. It should be 6 and 1. See guys, 6 and 1. Integer only. R is an integer. Even though it is 1.2, we have to take int part of that. Q value 6. R value 1. 6, 1. 1.2 not available because it's an integer 1. So, few set of pseudo code related stuff we are given here. Right? <clears throat> so we'll complete this question and this is see 11 people you need to arrange in a row not one person or two person 11 people you need to arrange in a row okay and they are asking a lot of questions related to that t is immediate left of p E is immediate left of P and third to the right of U. U first right, second right, third right. Then go for connected one. Guys, sir, I'll go for second one. Then link is based. Related to UTP, you have to go. I arranged UTP. Fine. Then UTP related, there is a fourth statement. R is sitting next to the right of P. R is right of P. P is second to the right of O. 
वो फर्स्ट राइट सेकेंड राइट इज दिस सो यू वो पी पी आर सम हाउ यू लिंक इट नाउ वी हैव टू गो फॉर दीज टू ओके एम ई सेकेंड टू द राइट ऑफ क्यू क्यू इज एट वन ऑफ द एंड गाइस क्यू इज एट वन ऑफ द एंड एम ई सेकेंड टू द राइट ऑफ क्यू मीन्स क्यू इज एट द लेफ्ट एंड एम ई सेकेंड राइट थ्री स्लॉट फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन we want 11 slots those are the 11 slots i can say okay q and m is in the q is on the left end 5678910111 okay now what is left over the second one v is immediate neighbor of m and n and third to the left of s s first left second left third left is v m and n are neighbors then there is a possibility m v n blank yes or it can be n v it can be n v m blank s now this is what entire we need to map already m is here right m is here m left side nv is not possible so this is out so m v n blank s yes. mapping this u o t p r this is what now only one candidate left over M N O P Q R S T U V W is this candidate. Who is sitting in the center? U is sitting in the center. Which of the following people are sitting to the right of S? O T P R. S right side O T P R. Long back way no. S right side O T P R. Okay. Which of the following is true with respect to the above arrangement? With respect to above arrangement, there are three persons between P and S. W is between M and V. W between M and V, no. N is between V and U. N is between V and U. Perfect. That's correct. N is sitting between V and U. Three persons between P and S. Between P and S, only two people. We know S O T P. Only two people. So that's why this is wrong. And S and O are neighbors sitting to the immediate right of T. T right side S and O. S and O are neighbors, but left of S and O are neighbors, but they are left of T, not right of T. Okay, so seating arrangement. This is what. Okay, now 